Okay, so on Sunday morning, an out-of-this-world item will touch down in the Utah desert. The contents of the capsule are billions of years old. How about that? ABC 10 meteorologist Brendan Minchiff explains how NASA's involved. So this, this is NASA's first asteroid sample return mission. On Sunday morning, NASA is bringing an asteroid to Earth, or at least a coffee cup's worth of asteroid. In October 2020, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft collected about nine ounces of the asteroid Bennu, which has been orbiting the sun for billions of years. Amy Simon, a senior scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, explains how they did it. What we did was called a touch and go where our sample head just barely touched the surface, blew nitrogen to loosen up the material and into the sample head and then back away. We won't know exactly what's in the sample until we open the capsule in a clean room at the Johnson Space Center, but we were able to look at the surface for a long time. We spent about two years mapping it out. So we know that there's pebbles, we know there's a lot of loose uh, regolith, which is dust, um, soil, sorts of uh, material. So we're hoping we get a range of sizes, actually. It was only a brief encounter with the dusty asteroid, but the collected sample will tell us exceptional details about the composition of this asteroid and perhaps contain amino acids. We're hoping to see organics, amino acids, building blocks of life. Um, there's also evidence that there was probably past hydration on Bennu, past water, even though there isn't water now, and that's all locked in the mineral structure. So these are all the sorts of things that we want to understand because those are the sorts of materials that were delivered to Earth when it was being formed. And guess what? Over the next two years, we'll tell scientists, we'll catalog and analyze every single speck of dust and dirt. They are suddenly hoping to learn a lot.